people come to us and we apply a stressor to their body. And we apply that stressor in the hopes that we get a certain response. Hopefully we get a favorable response. And if we do, we should be asking ourselves, is there something I can do more? Can I make this better? If we get a negative response, which unfortunately sometimes happens, we need to be asking ourselves, what can I do to change this? Or why isn't this person responding the way that I think that they should be? Um, and that really feeds into the idea of what I call the physiological buffer zone. So a buffer zone is basically just an area between two points. And in terms of the physiological buffer zone, we've got a point of physical capacity, and we've got a point, that kind of line of breakdown, injury, or pain. And I'm sure most of you guys can think up in your head an athlete or a client or someone that you've worked with who has this enormous physiological buffer zone. Uh, they can train for hours on end. They can do crazy amounts of volume and intensities. They compete you know, regularly without breaking down. And their body tends to, to tolerate this stuff very well. They, they seem to not be the person who ha really has any problems. And then you could probably think of someone who's the total opposite, whose phys you know, physiological buffer zone is about this big. And it's like any little thing that you do, you know, just a little too much. Maybe you push just a little too much and all of a sudden they blow up. Maybe they compete just a little bit too long and that turns into a, an incident. You know, maybe not like a catastrophic injury, like a, a horrible muscle pull, but like a tweak. Like, ah, my shoulder feels a little bit sore today, whatever sore means to them or however they perceive that. Um, so the question is, or the idea is, what can we do to extend this physiological buffer zone as big as possible? When I think about the healthy athlete, when I think about the high-performing athlete, there's three things that fit into the triad of this physiological buffer zone. Those athletes have good movement. They have high levels of fitness. 